Hello and welcome to the beautiful Winter Garden, Florida. I am at one of my favorite breweries and possibly one of the best breweries in all of Central Florida and definitely Orlando. Now, does it have the best beer in all of Orlando? Well, I guess we're gonna have to find out, but I know it has some delicious food and the ambiance, the atmosphere here is unbeatable. Can you guess where I am? If you said Plant Street Market in Winter Garden, Florida, you would be correct, otherwise known as Crooked Can. Cricket Can is a local Orlando beer. Even though we're about 20 to 25 minutes away from Orlando, I still consider it a local beer. We're gonna eat some delicious food, that's first, and drink some delicious beer. I've been here many times. Let's go inside, let's get today started. Welcome to Cricket Can Brewery. What's amazing about the Plant Street Market is that it has a ton of outdoor seating and in Orlando at least if you live close to the theme parks finding a restaurant that has this many outdoor seating areas is it's impossible there's hardly any restaurants in Orlando that have a huge outdoor seating which is crazy because we live in Florida as I was walking through the marketplace I noticed that almost every single restaurant was open and they even had a butchery there was a sweet store that had popcorn with so many varieties of different flavors that were caramelized popcorns and popcorns with syrup on them fruit popcorns flavored after fruit and they even had like caramel apples huge sweet selection I'm not big on sweets but it looked pretty interesting it looked very intriguing there was also a mac and cheese restaurant and that's what I'm actually waiting on right now. I got the buffalo mac and cheese. I cannot wait for that. But in the meantime, I'm gonna do a beer flight because that's what I came for is the beer. I've had it many times, but this time I'll show you the menu right here. There was many different options from last time I was here. Last time I was here, they had an Irish red, red ale, which I love the red ales and they didn't have that beer. And it's one of my favorite beers here, but they do have the traditional lager, which is what I got and the IPA. They almost always have those. Those are the staple beers for this company. I'm gonna dive right into this flight, but the food options, man, when I was walking through there, there was so many food options. The pizza restaurant was open. If I'm still hungry later, I might have to get a slice. I know Dave Portnoy has been to this pizza restaurant before and he thought it was pretty good. So that's pretty cool. Dave Portnoy gave it the thumbs up. So that's nice. Well, let's jump right into this beer flight. Let's try all these beers. I'm so excited. All right, so the first beer here, Sunshine Lager. It's their traditional lager. I like this one a lot. It has a very light flavor to it. Less of a lager flavor, but more of a light crisp beer. Kind of almost a citrusy flavor. Maybe an orange is some sort of citrus in there. Nice, refreshing beer, especially here in Florida. On a nice hot day, this is going to do the trick for you. Florida Sunshine Lager. They almost always have it here. But look at this beautiful flight. This thing looks gorgeous. This is actually my favorite beer here at Crooked Can. It's my go-to. I was very happy that they had it. It's the Farmhouse, which is a wheat beer, and it's one of my favorite wheat beers ever. It's gonna have that delicious flavor of the wheat in there, which makes it a little more sweet, and it's scrumptious. Let's give it a shot. It's refreshing, it's semi-sweet, it's not too sweet. It has a little bit of hops in there. If there was a miniature hay bale and you could make it into a liquid form and drink it, that's what it tastes like. No, I'm just joking. But it is called the Farmhouse because it's a wheat beer, so of course that makes sense. This is the Workaholic. I actually forgot about this one, but I'll show you the menu right here. I'll zoom in and tell you the Workaholic. I'll point it out right here. The Workaholic, let me see if I can guess this beer. Oh yeah, I remember. The Workaholic is an American pale ale, so it's gonna be similar to a IPA. It's gonna definitely have that hop forward flavor. It's not gonna have as much of a bite to it as a normal IPA would. It does have a little bit of an edge to it. It's hard to describe IPAs because if you don't like IPAs or American pale ales, American pale ales almost identical to an IPA. If you don't like hoppy beers, you're not gonna really understand what I'm talking about. And I honestly don't even know what I'm talking about. Describing an IPA or describing a hoppy beer is almost impossible, but it's not bad. It's better than, I actually like American pale ales better than IPAs. So there's that. Maybe that's an unpopular opinion. I don't know. Cheers. All right, now the last beer here is the 
traditional high stepper, which is Crooked Can's version of a IPA. Pretty simple there. IPA, like I said, with the American Pale Ale, very similar to the American Pale Ale. If you don't like IPAs, probably not gonna like Crooked Can's IPA. It's as simple as that. I did see that they were offering brewery tours. So there was a big glass window and I filmed at the inside of the brewery, which they do brewery tours and Here's that right here, the information. I would love to do that one day, but I just know how beer's already made. So I really don't, I don't really don't need any more insight on how beer's made because I've actually made my own beer. So that's just a fun fact about me. Here's to the High Stepper, the Crooked Can IPA. Whew, it has a little bit of a bite to it. A little bit of a boozy flavor, but it's smooth. It doesn't really, have an edge to it. The bite's not too strong. It's not too sharp. Let's go see if my mac and cheese is done and then I'm gonna get another beer. I got the buffalo mac and cheese and I cannot wait. I cannot wait to dive into this. Mmm, it looks delicious. I had to get another farmhouse ale because these things are delicious and I needed something just in case, just in case this is spicy, which I can handle my spice, okay? I can handle my spice. I'm gonna dive into this. I want another, I want a slice of pizza, but this just looks like it's gonna be too filling. Look how big this is, and it's so delicious. There's some Gouda cheese in here. Look at that cheese pole. Look at that cheese pole right there. Holy cow. It tastes like there's blue cheese in there. Is there blue cheese in there? I didn't see it on the menu, but maybe I'm crazy, but is there blue, do you see blue cheese on there? I'm like Dora. Do you see the blue cheese? Honestly, I forgot if there's blue cheese, but I'm pretty sure there's Gouda. Is there Gouda? Mmm. The chicken is a little chewy. It's cheesy, creamy. The flavor of the buffalo adds a little kick. It's perfect, honestly. A real mac and cheese lover would absolutely fall in love with this. Holy smokes, this is delicious. I ate so much of that mac and cheese, but I definitely could not finish it. So I gotta relax. Whew. I just dove in to that mac and cheese and I devoured it. I'm gonna sit outside and enjoy the weather and sip my farmhouse ale. It's just the atmosphere. Most of the breweries in downtown Orlando, now they're good. They have good beer, I'll say that. Some of them have a very cool kind of interior bar area, but most of them, there's not a lot of sitting area, especially outside. Some of them don't have any seating outside. And let me just tell you, the food here is fantastic. The options are endless. And they also sell things like hot sauces. They even have like soap and some other candles and things like that. So it's not just food and beer, although the food and beer is definitely the main attraction. Cheers, by the way. Enjoying the day, and uh, overall, I give this brewery an eight out of ten. It's not a ten out of ten. Maybe if it had more games or more uh, entertainment, I guess you could say, like live music or something like that, that might bring it up to a ten. But right now, it's an eight out of ten. Have you ever been to Crooked Can Brewing, or would you ever go here in Winter Garden, Florida? If you enjoyed watching today's video, please give this video a thumbs up so the algorithm can continue sharing this video to more and more people, so my channel can grow and grow and I can continue going to different breweries maybe I'll do another brewery tour with you guys maybe I'll show you guys another brewery in the future so be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss a thing if you don't want to miss a video from the future onward because we are going to continue posting about Central Florida and all over the United States because I love to travel to new places and try new foods and new drinks so let me know in the comments what you want to see me do next if there's anywhere in Central Florida or anywhere in Winter Garden that you want to see me go let me know in the comments Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you guys so much. Peace.